setting up a call center using Skype. Here we can see some more hacks to set up a call center using Skype. With the use of a single username, we can support many simultaneous callers. We can implement this with the features available in Skype to run on multiple computers under the same username. So, whenever someone calls, all the running instances of Skype logged on under the same surname. Now, while the first call is in progress, suppose someone else calls. All instances of Skype not already engaged in a call will ring. Whoever picks up the second call first will take that call, and so it goes until no available instances of Skype are around. As calls are completed and parties hung up, running instances of Skype are returned to the pool of available phone lines for incoming calls. It's almost what every call center needs. Before setting up the call center using Skype, we need to have some basic requirements, however. First off, check your bandwidth and latency. All the computers that participate in our call center will most likely share the same connection to the Internet. As the Internet is a shared resource, you must make sure that your connection has sufficient bandwidth and low enough latency to make call quality acceptable. You should budget 128 kilobytes both upstream and downstream per concurrent phone call. Then install Skype on your computers and set them up so that the same Skype username is used on each one. Next, fit each machine with headsets or handsets. Finally, publicize your call center Skype name to let your customers know how to contact you. Using Skype to Skype is clearly the most cost-effective method of Skype enabling your call center. However, if you think it's unreasonable to expect all your customers to use Skype just to talk to you, you can set up one or more Skype in numbers for your organization.